hold on to your hats because we've got a story to tell. Today we're talking about Bodegas Antonio Montero in the Urense province of Galicia in northwest Spain. Now this winery was introduced to me by the fishmonger in Bermeo in the Basque region of Spain. Bermeo is a little fishing village about halfway between Bilbao and San Sebastian and I walked into his fish shop one afternoon. Uh, he happens to be the uncle of my uh, former exchange student who lived with us in 2018 and he had just boiled some fresh tuna from the sea uh, and had a, a bowl of shrimp out and he's got a wall of wine there in his uh, fish market and I said what would you pair with this delicious food and he goes ah hold on a minute and he goes grabs a bottle from the fridge and opens the Antonio Montero Autor their signature wine. This is crazy because I tasted this with seafood and it blew my mind. It was absolutely perfect. Of course, emotional terroir comes into play here, but uh, proof positive, we got samples back here in the States and uh, it was just as delightful. So let's talk about Bottegas Antonio Montero. It's a small winery that straddles two uh, winemaking regions, one being the winemaking region of Ribeiro, which about 90% of the wine there is made uh, is white wine, and the other region is Monterey. And they're both known for, as white wine regions uh, for grapes like Trejadura, Torrontes, Albarino, uh, Godello, and uh, the one red grape that they kind of hang their hat on is Mencia, or Mencia. Uh, light, bright, crisp, because of where they're located so close to the Atlantic, but a little ways inward and a little ways south, they sit right above the Portuguese border. Um, the whites there get a little bit riper than, say, Albarino from Rio Spicius. So the whites have great texture. It's, it's kind of a wonderful, wonderful go-between. And I see why it's a hidden gem. It's a great go-between between the Albarinos of Rio Spicius uh, in Galicia and then the uh, Vino Verdes from the far northern part of Portugal, from say Monsau e Melgaço. So this uh, this winery, we have two wines from them. One is the Charleston, super fun. Uh, it's 100% Palomino. Palomino is the sherry grape, uh, make, known for making sherry. In fact, they call it Jerez or Jerez in, uh, in Monterey, in Ribeiro there. So Pal uh, the name Charleston is the, si the it's the signature dance from the Roaring Twenties, and because we're back in the Twenties again, uh, the Twenty Twenties that is, uh, he figured why not have some fun with this fun little wine and let the Twenties roar again. So that's what this wine is all about. It's about dancing the Charleston, drinking this crisp uh, and interesting bottle of white wine. The second wine we represent is the Autor. It's a blend of Trejadura. Torontes Alvarino, uh, three of the best growing grapes. And yeah, that's the same Torontes they grow in, uh, in uh, Argentina, where they consider it sort of their signature white grape. Well, this is where it came from. It's a little more aromatic, a little more, we'll say, Moscato-like, although this is a dry wine with serious weight, texture, minerality, tons of minerality in this wine. Uh, the Trejadura grape, I think is way underrated. It's probably because people can't say it as well as they can say Alvarino, but these two wines are, are can't miss. Um, amazing seafood pairing wines and real hidden gems, uh, treasures for, for what they are. These are wines to be discovered and enjoyed with friends uh, and at the table with, with some wonderful shellfish or a boiled tuna. So check out Bodegas Antonio Montero. You will not be disappointed in these.